Hi, I'm Matilda and I am a certified clinical aromatherapist. I am also a trainer for internationally accredited aromatherapy courses. So if you are interested in pursuing aromatherapy professionally or would like to deepen your knowledge in this area, do check out my link in the description down below to find out more information on the courses that I teach. This channel is set up to empower women in health and wealth. So if you are interested in the topics that I am sharing, do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of all future videos. Today, I'm going to share with you what are some of the uses and benefits of bergamot essential oil. Bergamot essential oil is extracted from the skin of a citrus fruit known as bergamot, which is also known by its Latin name Citrus bergamia. If you are a fan of Earl Grey tea, you are already enjoying bergamot's distinctive flavor. And uh, you can actually make your own Earl Grey tea by adding edible bergamot essential oil to tea leaves. If you like this video that you're watching, I would appreciate it greatly if you could smash the like button and share it with your friends. Let's take a look at what are some of the benefits and uses of bergamot essential oil. First and foremost, it's gotta be its aroma. I simply love bergamot's aroma. Do you know that many perfumes and colognes actually contain bergamot as a key ingredient? The aroma of bergamot essential oil is also known for its sedative property. Here are some ways to use this beautiful fragrance. You can mix bergamot essential oil with a carrier oil or a chemical-free lotion and use it as a massage oil or body lotion. You can also create your own signature perfume with bergamot and some of your favorite essential oils as well. You can also add bergamot essential oil to shampoos and shower gels, but do make sure that they are chemical-free. And of course, my favorite way of using bergamot essential oil is to simply diffuse 10 to 20 drops of bergamot oil in a diffuser. Next, we can also use bergamot essential oil for acne and skin. Several compounds in bergamot oil have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. This can make bergamot oil an effective topical acne treatment for people with non-sensitive skin. Its analgesic properties can also make it effective for painful seeds and papules. So how can we use bergamot oil? Now you can use it as a local treatment by mixing bergamot oil with a carrier oil and then applying it directly to acne, seeds and even blackheads and then leave it overnight. But I do not recommend that you use this treatment during the day or in the sun because bergamot essential oil is photosensitive. And for those of you who like soft scented hair, do consider using bergamot oil as well. Now, bergamot oil has the ability to smooth and tame curly hair and may also soothe irritated scalp. You can do this by adding bergamot oil into a chemical-free shampoo. Now, if you are adding rosemary or tea tree oil to your shampoo, uh, maybe because you want rosemary to promote hair growth and uh, you have itchy and oily scalp and you want to add tea tree oil to control the scalp irritation or um, manage the oil on your scalp, you will notice that these oils might dry out your hair because these oils can be drying. You will need to then add another oil that softens your hair. Now, besides copaiba, you can also add bergamot oil to soften your hair. You can also mix one or two drops of bergamot oil with a tablespoon of carrier oil and massage it into your scalp as a night care. Well, the next usage will be for stress relief. Bergamot essential oil has a calming effect and helps reduce anxiety. According to a 2015 study, both animal and human trials found that bergamot can help relieve anxiety and improve moods. Another study conducted on Japanese women in 2015 found that inhaling bergamot oil mixed with steam can also reduce anxiety and fatigue. Next, bergamot also acts as a mood booster. Like orange essential oil, bergamot is also known as a happy oil. Its aroma is uplifting and great when we are feeling low. A small study in 2017 studied the effects of inhaling bergamot essential oil on women in the waiting room of a mental health treatment center. Researchers have found that exposure to bergamot essential oil for just 15 minutes promotes an increase in positive emotions. Bergamot is best used when diffused or directly inhaled, especially if it's got to do with our mental health or our emotional health. Another less known use of bergamot is that um, you can actually use it for food poisoning. Linalu is a compound found in bergamot and can sometimes be effective in destroying the types of bacteria that cause foodborne illness. A 2006 study examined bergamot's effectiveness in destroying various bacterial strains on chicken skin and cabbage leaves. These are some of the bacteria tested. The results of the study indicate that bergamot essential oil may be effective against these types of bacteria. Another study done in 2016 tested the effects of different types of bergamot essential oil on listeria monocytogen strains. 
which can cause a listeriosis infection. The researchers used listeria samples from different sources, including fish and poultry. Different formulations of bergamot have weak to strong effects in preventing the growth of different bacteria samples. Given the variability, the researchers concluded that the effectiveness of bergamot essential oil against bacteria in food should be evaluated. As I have mentioned earlier, linalu is a compound found in bergamot. Besides linalu, kavacro is another compound found in bergamot oil as well. A 2017 research shows the effects of multiple essential oil compounds on the response of humans and animals to pain and other conditions. And it was found that these two compounds, linalu and kavacro, have analgesic anticonvulsant and anti-inflammatory abilities when used in a variety of methods. Hence, Bergamot might be useful in reducing pain and inflammation. Last but not least, bergamot might be able to lower cholesterol levels as well. Reliable sources of human and animal studies in 2016 indicate that the flavonoids found in bergamot have lower lipid levels. Although it suggests that the exact mechanism leading to this result is unclear. Another study done in 2018 confirmed this finding. It also found that the polyphenols in bergamot had an anti-inflammatory effect on the liver of rats recovered from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Now that you know all the benefits of bergamot, it's also time for us to learn how to be cautious when using bergamot and also when we are introducing to our friends and family, what are some of the precautions that we need to take note of. When applying bergamot essential oil on skin topically, I recommend that you always dilute it first as it might cause skin sensitivity in some people. Also, avoid exposure to sunlight after applying bergamot oil as it may cause photosensitivity. That's all I have to share today. I really appreciate you being here today. So if you like this video, do smash the like button and share it with your friends. Have a good day and a great week ahead and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you.